Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to plot the orbitals from a CASE-CF calculation with ChemCraft and make a nice energy diagram with PowerPoint using also a program that I made in Octave some time ago and showed in a previous video. So this is a CASE-CF calculation that I had done. If I look at the ground state of my calculation, I have an occupation pattern for the orbitals in the active space. I want to see what the orbitals look like and I also would like to plot their energies. So for that I go to ChemCraft first and I will open the file of course. And this is a coral with a triphenylphosphine uh, apical ligand and I will plot the active space orbitals This takes a little while. So these are my chosen colors for this type of plot. What I will do is orient the molecule as good as I can. I will check all the orbitals. They are the correct ones. Of course, some of them look slightly distorted. It's just how they look, but it's uh, chemically meaningful. So for each of them, I will export an image. And I, I increase a little bit the resolution. This is a slightly different calculation from the previous one. So these are slightly different orbitals, but the plot will look very similar. So the, this takes a little while, but not that long. This is the last one. So now I open a previous file that I have already in PowerPoint and I will insert the pictures. I will change all their sizes to around 3.6 centimeters, doesn't matter. I can also make the backgrounds transparent that makes it slightly easier. So they are now ordered. I will not touch them until I have the energies. So now I go to the file and what I'm going to do is look for the orbital energies. Find only the active space orbitals, which are the ones that have occupations between two and zero. So in here they are leveled from 2014 to 2022, but in ChemCraft they are numbered from 2015 to 2023. So that's always something you need to take into account so you don't confuse the orbitals. I will copy this to another file just to have it slightly more ordered. I will save this file later. But these are the energies in electron volts. I could use also the energies in hard tree. And I'm going to copy this to a MATLAB file that already plots the energy levels with the occupations that I give it. So I press Alt to select a column and I go to this octave file. I already have done this for many other molecules. I need to make some room. So I will call this and I also need to define these other variables for the plots. So the occupations doesn't matter here. I'm going to manually draw them in PowerPoint, but this will give me a nice energy plot very fast. So I have to change this, I already have many calculations. And I will do the plot. So I copy the figure. And in order to be consistent with other graphs that I've been doing, I will try to align these scales as good as possible. This is just a figure. It doesn't need to be perfectly to scale because of course I will have the numbers on some table, but it has to look as similar as possible. So I take this to the back and I try to align this. 
so this is more or less aligned so maybe I can be slightly so I know this is more or less to scale it's not perfect I put it here and I will copy so I, will, I can remove all these these are from another calculation so I will copy this part then I, I can change the labels depending on the actual order of the orbitals So I will manually move them. I do this because I still don't like very much the resolution and the quality of the graph generated with octaves. So I manually redo it in PowerPoint, but of course you could directly use the output from octave and that would be perfectly okay. You can see from far away it looks good enough, but I prefer my handmade graphs. Okay, since this is now correctly to scale, I can delete this picture and I can check again if my orbitals are ordered in energies because sometimes they are not ordered in the active space and you need to check which is which. So in here I can see that the first orbital is the lower in energy but then I have this the second orbital would actually be the fourth in energy and all the others except for this one are ordered correctly. So that's easy for me to recognize because I have done many of these plots for similar molecules and I already kind of know the order that the orbitals will have but if I didn't I have to be careful with those energies so the first one is going to be the lower one the second one is going to be the fourth one so I put them more or less in their position and then I will fix them then third sorry second and third energies so I can check again so the second one goes to the fourth place and the third and fourth go to the second and third and then I still go up a little bit. Sixth one is okay. The seventh one should be higher in energy. So this is the seventh one. This is the highest. And this would be this one. And this would be this one. I'm going to check again if this is okay. So this is okay to be the fourth one. These orbitals are okay, slightly swapped, but... Sorry, I think I made a mistake when I labeled this. Okay, so these two were... I don't know if I grabbed them wrong uh, when I when I pick the molecule, pick the plot, but yeah, this is the correct order. I just checked it in ChemCraft. So you can actually check it carefully, energy by energy. So this would be the ground state occupation. There's, of course, other contributions from high spin states, but then I can use the labels. Also, I can shift all this to the back so it makes it easier to, to put the labels, move them around. So I know this is XY. This is YZ. Of course, the orbitals are distorted, but okay, that's the result from the calculation. This is the HOMO minus one. This would be a mixture of HOMO and the DZ square. This will be a mixture of DZ square and the HOMO, the LUMO. Okay, so I could improve some things. I could calculate the HOMO-LUMO splitting and put the arrows there. I could put some more stuff into the graph, but this is a semi fast way to uh, plot the Cassel CF orbitals for a calculation. And then I can interpret what the different energy states mean regarding orbital occupation. I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you very much.